hello everyone so the next topic which we will be discussing is about the reflex action so what is reflex action reflex action is a sudden and involuntary response it is an involuntary and sudden response to a stimuli helps the organisms to quickly adapt to an adverse circumstance that could that could have the potential to cause bodily harm or even death so the pulling our hands away immediately after touching a hot or cold object is a classic example of a reflex action so this is an example of the reflex action we will be discussing this in a more detailed way so i have already told you the definition of this the most common reflex is their response to a well trained accumulated knowledge of the caution that we have internalized it could be anything and ranges from the reflex action of abruptly withdrawing the hand as it comes in contact with the hot or cold object So this is called as the reflex action and it has a subtle relation to the instinct as well so a point to be thought upon is that we all have our instincts differently depending on our past experience and understanding so a reflex is a reaction which is being triggered by these instincts at times we have no prior knowledge if the pan is hot or not in other words instinct has little to do with the reflex now the reflex action has been further divided into two parts that is the voluntary action and the involuntary action now the voluntary action so when an action is produced with the involvement of thoughts they are called as the voluntary action for example the activities such as the walking jumping eating running writing so these all are the examples of the voluntary action in which we are, where where our thought is involved so we are thinking and we are doing that work so that is the voluntary action so it the voluntary action is in our hand so we can do it so these actions they are produced consciously so we consciously do these do these activities so both the spinal cord and the brain are involved and these coordinate with the pns to generate the necessary movement so this is the voluntary action and involuntary action so these are the actions that that takes place without our consciousness or willingness so the digestion breathing beating of the heart sneezing these are or blinking of the eyes so these are the involuntary actions in which our will is not required they this is done without the consciousness of an individual so there are certain parts of the brain which are responsible for the involuntary actions now there is a hind brain and fore in hind brain and mid brain that is responsible for the involuntary actions like the salivation vomiting etc so these all are the involuntary actions next is about how this action takes place of a neuron so there is a reflex action which takes place so how does this action takes place so the two neurons they dominate the pathway that is efferent nerve receptors and the efferent nerve that is the excitor so these are some of the events that takes place firstly it begins with the receptor detecting the stimuli or a sudden change in the environment where the instinct again has the role to play so the stimulus is received from a sensory organ so there is a stimulus which is being received so then the sensory neuron sends a signal to the relay 
neuron so there is a sensory neuron that will send a signal to the relay neuron and this is followed with the relay neuron that sends the signal to the motor neuron now what the what is happening is the motor neuron sends the signal to the effector and effector they produce an instantaneous instantaneous response for example pulling away of the hand or a knee jerk reaction so this is the explanation that how the neuron action of the neuron takes place so from the above explanation it can be clearly summarized that the movement the efferent neuron receives the signals from the sensory organ it transmits the impulse via a dorsal nerve root into the central nervous system so there is an efferent so there is an efferent neuron that carries the signal from the cns to the effect and the stimulus forms a reflex arc that forms a reflex arc so before going in uh, going up further we will first understand that what is reflex arc reflex arc is a pathway that controls the reflex so this is called as the reflex arc now in a reflex action the signals they do not route to the brain instead it is directed to the synapse in the spinal cord and hence the reaction is instantaneous now this is a diagrammatic representation which is showing that how the mechanism of the reflex action takes place so reflex action it has played an important role in ensuring the survival of the organism as as it enables the quick reaction to certain situation when an organism life could be at stake now in this example i was telling you earlier also that when a individual touch a hot object there is a direction so when he touch the hot object it will be like a pain receptor in the skin so what is happening the direction of the impulse will these are some of the arrows which is depicting the direction of the impulse so the direction of the impulse will go in this way and there is a muscle which contracts in withdrawn parts being stimulated so this is what is happening here now as you can see there are some red and the blue lines or green lines which are being depicted here so the red line is the dendrite of the efferent neuron so the arrow is going in this way so it will reach the this part of the body so there is a cell body of the efferent neuron and this is a spinal cord which is being depicted here so the there when uh, a person touches a hot object the signal will goes like this and this is the cell body of the interneuron and the cell body of the efferent neuron so here the spinal cord will give the action to give the response to the stimuli and it was as been depicted in the green line there will be a exon of efferent neuron and the and the muscle contracts and withdrawn parts from being stimulated so as the as the signals are being sent from the spinal cord to the hand the the person will just move his hand away from that hot object so this reaction takes place or this reflex action takes place in a very fast manner so the signals will be go will be gone to the spinal cord and then the spinal cord will again send the signals back to this individual and that individual will remove his hand from the hot object so this was all about the reflex action